everyone welcome to today's video <laughs> today we are going to be looking at the little twin stars and wet and wild collaboration which came in this huge box when this box arrived in the mail g brown legitimately had like a minor meltdown and was like did you buy all of ulta and the answer is no but that would be nice but i did buy this collection. So it was actually on sale at Ulta, that's why I decided to pick it up. And also if you know anything about me, you know that I am obsessed with stars. Um, it's literally one of my favorite shapes. And also, um, I love Sanrio. Sanrio was a huge, huge part of my childhood. And so buying a collection like this kind of just made sense for everything that, I don't know, reminded me of like good times and easier times. So let's get to opening this. I don't know how. <laughs> okay, so here it is. This box is ginormous. <laughs> G Brown tries to fit it all into the frame. So the top of it says friends are like stars. You can't see them, but you know they are always there for you. Super adorable. It comes with a bunch of different things. Um, I'm going to use my leg to hold this up as super graceful. Um, okay, so we have two complexion products. One's blue, one's pink, obviously to match like the two characters. Um, we have sponges, a cup holder, a uh, lip scrub, a lip mask, a sponge holder, eyeshadow palette, mist, eyeliners, brushes, and then a super, super cute bag that has like the stars or like confetti in here, which is adorable. This is probably the most graceful pose I've ever done. <laughs> on this channel. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, we have unboxed everything. And I have to, first off, I'm just gonna say, in terms of the packaging and everything, Wet n Wild has really absolutely killed it with this collection. Everything is just so cute, so on brand. Um, everything is like stars and, and clouds. Um, the silicone sponge holder is like the like, weirdest thing I've ever held in my entire life. Um, but the sponges are super, super cute. The two characters are sort of, embossed or cut onto the sponges as well. Okay, so a sponge definitely did get quite a bit larger when I dampened it, so that's cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this along and finish as much of my complexion as possible using this sponge and then the brush that did come in the set. So I just finished my complexion and my bronzer using the sponge. I really, really liked it actually. It feels quite similar to the Beauty Bakery sponges. I don't know if you've tried those before, but those are also really good sponges as well. Let's go ahead and talk about their two complexion products. So these are both called the Oh My Star Collection Trio. One's obviously pink, one's obviously blue. So it comes with a blush, a highlighter, and a glitter topper. I'm also kind of thinking very similar to the stars. I kind of want to do my face half and half, so I want to use the blue side on my left and kind of make this very, very cool toned, especially with the eyeshadow palette and all the colors that come in there. And then on this side, very, very like pink, if that makes sense. So we'll kind of see how all of that goes. We'll start with the pink because I feel like that's just a little bit less alarming. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the blush. Ooh, that's quite powdery. I don't know if you saw that at all. My face is already actually quite, this smells so good. I don't know what it smells like. Artificial strawberries, I think, is what comes to mind. Um, but let's go ahead and get blushy. That's actually really pretty. Don't mind the fact that I'm getting emails. <laughs> And I'm gonna do a light touch of highlight. Ooh, and that's really lovely. Very glowy actually too. So like that so far. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this glitter topper though. God, that feels weird. That's really pretty though. But do I really want to put it on my face? I'm 
just getting all of the text messages and emails right now. Sorry. What the hell, right? Let's try. Maybe if I like tap it on or something, this feels odd. It has like a, it's like a sticky formula, but I can feel like the, the topper, I don't know, it kind of wears me out. I mean, I guess that's kind of cute. Well, if you're going to a music festival, you know, this might be uh, really adorable. Wow, that's crazy. And it does actually adhere pretty well. Wow, it actually went from my finger to my face quite easily. But yeah, so the glitters have a little bit, they have some star shapes in here, some hexagonal, hexagonal, hexagonal shapes. Uh, and a couple of moons. Professor Hexon. So, Professor, <laughs> Professor Hexonical. Oh, that's good. All right. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and try the blue one now. So, by the way, I forgot to mention, it is Kiki and Lala. Those are the names of the twins. I always forget, to be honest, the names of them, but I remembered just now to tell you. So, that's good. Okay. This is also really, really quite pretty. The blush, thank God, is not blue. Because <laughs> I... I don't know if I would have known what to, what to do with that, really. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Definitely quite a bit more cool toned compared to the other blush. Smells just like that artificial strawberry smell. I actually really like that too. Okay, I'm gonna just use the other side of my highlight brush because I don't have another one here. We're gonna go ahead and grab that shimmery blue highlight here. Mm, okay, let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's blue. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny actually is I don't like this highlight as much. As I look closer at my skin, I can see that this highlight is grabbing onto my texture a lot. And I don't know if it's just because it's like, a, it's clearly not, like, a regular skin tone color, so maybe that's why you can definitely see it a little bit more. But I am seeing my texture peek through quite a bit here. I mean, when I turn my face side to side, it's, I mean, it is quite pretty, but I'm definitely just noticing a little bit of texture that's peeking through. But we're gonna go ahead and apply the cute glitter on top of that anyway, and let's see how this one works. I do think it's really cool how it goes from your finger to your face without much effort at all. Like I'm just really kind of using a tapping and pressing motion and it's coming right off my finger and transferring to my face. Yeah, I would totally wear this to like a music festival or something like that, you know, or I wanted to be like ravey and stuff. So it's a Shining Star and Sparkling Star, by the way. They have different names on them. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving on. While I do my eyes, I am going to actually use the lip scrub first and then the lip mask. The lip scrub is uh, in the shade Sugar Coated and then the lip mask is in the shade Candy Kisses. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these. I'll probably fast forward this part too if I can open it. There we go. Not too sure how I feel about these two lip products. The lip scrub definitely did work really well, but the lip mask does not feel the most hydrating. It actually feels a little plasticky. So here is the eyeshadow palette. It's called Cotton Candy Clouds. It comes with 15 different shades. You can see that there is a variety of textures in them. We have a couple of mattes, a couple of glitter shades, and just your lovely, lovely pastel colors, which we are going to actually use the blues and the pinks because we're gonna try and match our cheeks today. Uh, and then in terms of eyeliner, it also comes with four pastel eyeliners. Um, let's go ahead and swatch this really quick for you to see. The blue is Sky High and the pink is Daydreamer, which is super pretty. Um, the yellow one, which is really more like kind of a gold shift to it, which is really, really nice. This one is called Sunshine, and then the white is Cloud Life. I'm going to go ahead and insert a couple of swatches of the eyeshadow palette uh, up here while I get to applying them.
All right, we are back after doing our eyes. And I have to say, actually, that this palette is really not bad for Wet n Wild. I've definitely used Wet n Wild eyeshadows before. This one actually was pretty good. The only thing that I would say was a huge miss for me are these glitter shades. I actually, they feel very chalky and like dry and kind of strange and I just couldn't quite get it to stay on my lid in a way that wasn't like super patchy. I mean it looks pretty nice on the back of my hand but somehow like it just didn't quite apply in the same way to my eyes the way that I would have wanted it to. In general I would say these three glitter shades in the middle here were a bit of a miss for me um, but everything else was pretty good. The only thing I would say though is that this eyeshadow palette definitely does have a little bit of fallout on it. So um, if you are planning on using this, which I think you could use anytime you want a really pastel kind of an eyeshadow look, you definitely could. Um, I would just say do your eyeshadow before your foundation, um, just so you can kind of wipe away some of the uh, some of the glitter. Now, for the most part, because I have glitter topper already on the top of my cheekbones, like I don't care if I have a ton of glitter on my face because it's just like on par with the theme, you know what I mean? I don't really wear p super pastel colors very often, but for the most part, actually, I think the, um, you know, on this side of it, with the browns and kind of the neutral shades, I think this could be actually a really, really nice palette to have just in your collection. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the four lip products that came in here or in this collection. So the very first one is the Stardust Lip Mousses. I have it in two different shades. Lost in a Cloud, which is this bright magenta shade. And then also on Candy Cloud 9, which is more of a deeper mauve shade. Both of these are actually quite pretty. I know which one I'm going to wear just because I don't tend to wear hot pink on my lips. Uh, it's just not really my vibe. Um, but then the, they did also come out with two lip glosses as well. This one, these are the Starlight lip glosses. And the first one is My Lucky Star, which is kind of more of that cool toned pink. They have, they definitely have uh, some glitter in this one. This one I would say has more of like a silver purpley reflect in it. Yes, confirmed by that swatch here. And then the second one here is called Starstruck. And this one has a little bit more of a, I think it has more pink reflex versus that kind of cool toned, very, very purpley uh, kind of a shade. So super pretty actually. Texture wise, it feels pretty nice on the back of my hand. Let's go ahead and apply these and see what's what. Really quick, the doe foot is very interesting on these. You can see how there's that like bit of a lip on there, yeah? Very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and try it. final lip. I actually really like it. <laughs> um, it's definitely very shiny, very reflective for the lip gloss. And then the lip mousses were really interesting. I will say that they are not going to last throughout the day. Um, I definitely did a bit of a kiss test on the back of my arm and it was, it moved. It definitely moved. But what I do really like about the lip mousse formulas though, is that it doesn't feel like it's drying out your lips. And so that, I feel like that's kind of the trade, right? When you have a liquid lip that's like stuck to your lips by the end of the day, you're like, oh my God, it feels like really dry. But with lip mousses, obviously they're not going to dry your lips, but they're just not going to last as long. The lip gloss is really nice. It's not sticky at all, which I really, really like. So Nice job on the lip products. Let's go ahead now and we're going to finish this off with the Twinkle Star. Oh, I shouldn't have shaken it because it's white font on a clear thing. Um, <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild Twinkle Star Glow Face Mist. So this actually has coconut water and dragon fruit extract to hydrate, brighten, and reduce the appearance of redness, which I always have a lot of redness in my skin, so I'm excited for this. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. That's a lovely mist. What the heck? It smells like dragon fruit. Is that, is that what I'm smelling? Oh! <coughs> okay, so don't open your mouth <laughs> after. 
Okay, so don't open your mouth after spraying this. It definitely tastes a little bit like cough syrup, but I'm having some severe regret. It smells really, really good though. Let's see how it did in terms of setting down my face. Actually, everything looks really nice. It kind of made the powders like just melt into my face. The highlight is, is popping. Everything looks really quite good. That pretty much concludes the first impressions part of this video. I'm going to keep trying everything for the rest of the week. Um, I am going somewhere on Friday, so I have to actually give you guys my final thoughts on Thursday, but I will allocate enough time for myself to be able to try everything and really kind of dig in there and get to know everything. So I'll be back to let you guys know my final thoughts, but really at the end of the day, this was such a fun collection to just try and I'm excited to have it just because the nostalgia factor is really huge for me. I've just, I've always loved all of Sanrio's products, the stars, everything is just so on brand. The packaging is so well done that I'm really quite impressed. And I'm still obsessed with this glitter topper. I really thought I was going to hate these. Like I was like, why, why with a glitter topper? But they're so cute. I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to hang on to these. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of days um, for my final thoughts on everything. All right, bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's go ahead and talk about my final thoughts of the Twin Stars and Wet n Wild collection. As per usual, we are going to go from negative to positive just because I like ending my videos on a more positive note. So the very first product I'm going to talk about is the Sweet Dreams Lip Mask. I don't like it. <laughs> it wasn't very hydrating for the lips. I think the packaging is super, super adorable, but that's pretty much the extent of how I feel about this product. Now the lip scrub, on the other hand, I really liked this, but I also find though that it's very difficult to get like a lip scrub wrong. You know what I mean? Like all it needs to do is exfoliate your lips. It's not like it's something that you're going to leave on your lips for a really long time and expect it to hydrate or anything like that. So generally I find lip scrubs are a lot more easy to get the formula correct um, and have it work really well versus a lip mask. So. Between the two of these, I would recommend picking up the blue lip scrub. And then let's talk about the eyeliners. So the first thing that I want to say is that the blue and yellow one, um, so these formulas are the shimmer formulas. They do not work on your waterline very well. It ends up being very like almost like transparent. But if you're using this as like a liner for the top of your eye, like on your lid or something like that, then these would work really, really well. I would just say that if you are a waterline liner person like me, it's not really going to work. However, the white and the pink one, which are more of a matte formula, go on really, really well. I do like to use a white or a more fleshy colored tone liner on my waterline on the days when I feel like my eyes are just looking like really small, like they're small, you know, and I need them to just look a little bit brighter and bigger, then I will reach for an eyeliner like this. And both of these performed super, super well for that purpose. For the lip products, I just want to say really quick, like I keep, I'm like look, kind of avoiding looking in the monitor because my lips are like hot pink. And it's only because I wanted to show you guys um, both of the liquid lipstick colors, or actually these are not the liquid lipstick, sorry, the lip mousses. Um, so I obviously chose the mauve one the last time I was filming for my first impressions. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and wear the hot pink one for my final review so that you guys can actually see what the color looks like. In terms of the lip mousse, these are really, really nice. I would just say that they don't have awesome staying power, but they seriously don't feel like anything on your lips. In this day and age when liquid lipsticks are kind of slowly getting phased out, the lip mousses are a really, really nice alternative. And at these prices, especially for a drugstore, like really good. I love though the lip glosses. The lip glosses are so, so good. They're so reflective, so shiny, so glittery. They have that sparkle, but they don't feel like glittery on your lips. Like there's no weird texture. There's no grittiness. It's really, really quite smooth and gives you a gorgeous shine. And these are definitely ones that I want to just pop into my bag and bring with me wherever I go. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette really quick. For the price point of this, this is not bad. Um, I would 
probably only recommend this for people who have complexions like mine or lighter. I do think that it would go a little bit ashy if you are a little bit tanner than I am. The colors show up beautifully on my skin, so I don't I, I don't have that problem, but just definitely something to, to watch out for. One of the things I wanted to talk about though too is that they actually have a couple of these these two shades here, they actually have a bit of a sparkle in them, but that really looks like just an overspray on the eyeshadow. It doesn't actually carry through when you place it on your lid. These two end up just kind of looking like matte shades. And then the glitter formula, I still don't really like Wet n Wild's glitter formula. I just feel like, I mean, it looks like it's hanging on okay, but I was definitely piling it onto my eyes, and so it turned out okay, so... Honestly, for the price point though, I don't think it's bad for the packaging. I think it's really, really cute. Does it perform like my, you know, more high-end like Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes? No, not exactly the same, but again, for the price point, really not bad. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the two winners though. Man, their complexion products are so, so good. I absolutely love the blushes that are in these, and I love the highlights that are in here. Um, the blue one, I will say I struggled with a little bit even during the week because I just found that for some reason, I, it's got to be something about like the undertone of it. It just emphasizes texture a little bit more. But if you use a light hand, if you make sure that you're setting it down with a setting spray, it does eventually kind of look one with the skin. Well, as much as like a blue highlight can, like I don't really know if a blue highlight could ever really look one with the skin, but formulation wise, you know, as long as you're setting it down with the setting spray, it does just a fine job. And the other thing that I'm going to be saving it for too is this glitter topper. This is so much fun. I really, I know I said it earlier in the week when I was trying this out for the first time, it doesn't really make sense to me that they can get the glitter topper in here correct, but they can't get the glitters in their eyeshadows correct. And then the two absolute like, Oh, it's just so good. I have no complaints about these are the sponges and the setting spray. So for the sponges, I love that this comes to a tip and that this part is actually flat because then when you're actually using this and holding this product, you have a place for your finger to really kind of rest as you kind of bounce and blend in that concealer. This just works so, so well. Uh, sorry to be showing you the one that I just used to apply my makeup, but anyway, works really, really well. I really, really like these. Uh, and then, of course, the setting spray is so... You guys, this is probably my favorite <laughs> drugstore setting spray so far. The mist is absolutely amazing. It's so soft and just, oh, it's, it's absolutely lovely. I mean, the very first time that I sprayed it, I knew I was going to like it. And it does a really good job of keeping your makeup on and also kind of getting your powder products to just kind of smooth into your skin. And it smells really, really amazing. Uh, and then the other thing that I wanted to talk about too is just really quick, there are two brushes. I did also use them. First of all, amazing job on the packaging. And then Wet n Wild just has some really, really good brushes. If you are looking for tools from the drugstore, I would highly recommend checking out Wet n Wild. That pretty much wraps up this video. I, I, I love it. <laughs> I just, I love everything about this collection. Some of the products were a little bit more hit and miss, but at the end of the day, I'm super, super glad that I actually spent, you know, my hard-earned money on this collection because I just think the aesthetics of it was absolutely beautiful. It was so well done. Um, and product-wise, nothing was, like, absolutely, like, oh, earth-shatteringly, like, the worst. Yeah, and there were gems in here, like this setting spray. It's just, I can't, like, it's so good. It's so good. It's so, uh, it's so good. Anyway, all right. That pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Wet n Wild and Twin Stars collaboration. I will see you guys in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, by the way, if you ended up liking this video and feel like it, feel free to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye. I will use uh, the two sponges that also came in this. Look at this. Like, as you... It's so cute with the stars. Oh, I just. And those brushes. What did I say? Sponges. God damn it.